Hey, it's Nathan Williams with Crazy Eye Marketing. And in this video, we're gonna talk about the upgrade offer funnel step, which is an optional feature inside the membership area that ClickFunnels has. And it's a great way to get people to get access to different sections that they might not have access to. So we're gonna discuss it all in detail in this video. So right now I'm in my membership site and uh, let's say that I have a couple different lessons and they're restricted access lessons. So I go to the restrict access. And so in this particular case, the person needs to buy red shoes in order to access the Facebook ads course, which of course doesn't make sense. You probably have a Facebook ads product, but anyway, for demonstration purposes, people with the red shoes product purchased can access this section. And then I have a ClickFunnels course that's also restricted uh, with OTO one product. So they got to purchase this product to access this course. And so uh, if we go to the the membership area, so here I am logged in as just a, a user that doesn't have access to anything. Uh, you see that I don't have access to the Facebook ads course or the ClickFunnels course at this point in time. Um, I'll refresh just to make sure. So see all empty and everything. So then if I come over to this restrict access and I pick an upgrade offer funnel step, uh, so basically what this is doing is I'm gonna link to an OTO or upsell page where members can visit and purchase access to the products, giving them access. And note, don't see the funnel step you're looking for. Make sure it's an OTO page selling a product that gives access to this lesson section. All right, so we're gonna cover what that means in just a second here. So basically um, I can select which OTO page uh, gives somebody access to this product. Now, one thing to note, oftentimes OTO pages inside of your funnels are kind of salesy or whatever. It's like, stop, wait, upgrade your order. And uh, it's kind of like in your face, right? Because you're trying to get their attention. They're going through your funnel. Uh, you want them to buy it right then and there. Um, also, there's like a no option on there. So no, I don't want to buy your product, right? But in this particular case, uh, you don't want to be like in your face like wait upgrade your order it doesn't make sense because they're 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 going through the process so what you probably want to do is what i'm getting at is you want to set up a a custom oto page for this particular product and what i typically do is i put the page in the funnel itself so in the membership site funnel itself so i'll add a new step and i'll say facebook ads course and maybe i'll call it oto and I could go ahead and give it a page path. Not gonna worry about it. Uh, I'd make it pretty, of course, if this was real life, but this is just demonstration purposes only. So I'm just gonna go quickly. All right, so now I need to select an OTO page type. So I'm gonna go to sales and one click upsell OTO. And I'm just gonna pick a random template, doesn't matter. And I would go in here and I would go ahead and edit this page, of course, to make it match what I'm trying to sell. So I'd be like, uh, so here's that salesy stuff I was talking about. Okay, this is your last offer. See, it doesn't make sense to say that here because the person's just trying to gain access to the member or the Facebook ads course. So purchase, purchase the face, Facebook ads course by clicking the button below. Below. You'll automatically be charged $97. All right, so you wanna make sure that they understand they click this button because it's a one-time offer button, they're gonna be automatically charged uh, $97 or whatever the fee is. Oh, so we got that, let me delete this out of here. Delete this out, delete this. And then of course I could go ahead and delete this no option because this isn't like a typical uh, OTO page. So I'm gonna go ahead and save it real quick and then go back. And I need to actually set up a product on this page too. They gotta to buy something, right? So let me go ahead and add a product here. And I'll select my integration, one-time payment, save and next. Product details, Facebook ads course. And it is $97. And I'm gonna leave all this stuff blank. I'd probably, you know, I'd fill out the billing information and stuff if this was real life, not demonstration purposes. Product variation, not gonna worry about it. Fulfillment email, do I wanna send a fulfillment email? Yeah, access the Facebook ads course. And we'll throw that in there. Link to this dynamic link right here. And then add it as a link. 
And then I want to go ahead and select my membership area and then save and next. And then I'm actually going to save and close because I don't need to do any other stuff right now to do what I'm trying to do. Now I'm going to go back and edit my page again real quick and make sure that my button's connected to my product. Looks like it is. So yep, one click upsell, Facebook ads course. Okay, cool, save, and back out of here. All right, so now I have my OTO page where somebody could upgrade their account um, with a click of a button. So let me come back to membership area and go to Facebook ads and restrict access. And I wanna go ahead and do this offer here and I wanna send them to this page. So that, that is the page I just created and update lessons section. All right, now let me load back up my, my portal here. And so here we go. So now we see Facebook ads popped up. So that section popped up and I'm like, ooh, I want to access the Facebook ads course. So I click into it and I hover over it and it says access restricted. I'm like, dang it, I see all these awesome looking lessons. I want to go ahead and take this thing. Uh, so in order to do that, obviously they click this upgrade here button and it brings them to our OTO page. And then they'd go ahead and click this button to upgrade their account for $97. So it'd charge them $97 and give them and then give them access to their purchase. Now, there's gonna be issue here uh, because the downside of this feature is that you have to have their credit card information already on hand. So they'll have already have had to make a purchase from you in order for this whole thing to work. Okay, if they have not made a purchase from you before and you don't have their credit card information like stored in Stripe, this isn't gonna work. You're gonna get this type of error right here where it says missing purchase. So it could be really frustrating to people if they might wind up in your membership area but not having bought a membership access. However, if you have, however, if your membership area requires somebody to buy something first, well then you have their credit card information and this, this feature, this function, what do they call it? Upgrade offer funnel step function. Um, could be very beneficial because you already have their credit card information stored and they can upgrade their account, get access for with one click, right? So that's just one thing to note and keep in mind. Um, it only works if you have their credit card information on hand. And there is one last step we gotta do, I almost forgot, which would have been bad. We gotta do the product requirements and we gotta make sure that this one also gives them access to this, uh, this section, right? Because otherwise, they still wouldn't be able to access it. So definitely don't forget to grant them access as well. So update lesson section, and there we go. So that's how you go ahead and use that feature. It's pretty cool, especially if you have their credit card information stored in Stripe, um, but otherwise it'd probably frustrate people. So anyway, that is how you use it, and I hope this video was helpful.